When you're planning your backpacking trip, there's so much information online and so many gear choices that could just be so mind-boggling and confusing and you just don't know what to do. And today we're talking about one of those pieces of gear that is very confusing for some and seemingly simple for others. What's going on guys? My name is Dan, thanks for coming over to my channel today. Uh, today we're talking about a topic that I have really talked about on this channel, if ever. Uh, we're talking about shoes. So shoes are an extremely controversial topic. I wanna get this out the gate right away. I do understand that, I do know that. There are uh, boots people, there are trail runners people, there are uh, waterproof shoes people, there are non-waterproof shoes people, there's sandals people out there, there's people that like hike barefoot. So, and everybody's got their own opinion. Everybody's got like, you know, their own idea of what they should be wearing themselves and what other people should be wearing. So today I'm not necessarily gonna make a decision for you. I'm just gonna tell you what I've done over the past several years of hiking and kind of why I haven't really talked about this topic much at all on my channel. And just hopefully it will give you information to make a more informed decision on what you could be doing yourself. I've been a trail runner guy uh, for so long uh, that I've just always turned down anything waterproof for my feet because uh, most trail runners out there are not waterproof trail runners. There are waterproof trail runners, but uh, I've never used them. And I've had, you know, good luck. I just, when I step in a puddle, I just assume my feet are gonna get wet and I just deal with it. And that's kind of been the mentality. You know, I go hiking, I just hike. I don't think about my feet getting wet or not getting wet, I just hike. And if they're wet, they're wet, so what? Keen sent me a pair of waterproof shoes to try out. And um, at first I was like, ah, oh, I like my shoes, I like my trail runners, they work, they're great, um, they're super lightweight, I have no problems in them whatsoever, but they aren't waterproof. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give this a go, I'm gonna try some waterproof shoes. The shoe that I've been using is, this is the Keen Bellow Flex, Ridge Flex <laughs> shoe. And I took these to the Beartooth Mountains. And my experience was this. There's some things that I absolutely love about these shoes. And there's one thing that I don't like about these shoes, um, but most of my experience has been nothing but positive with these shoes. Oh, um, these are the same thing. Uh, these are the boots, though, that um, I used in the winter time. Uh, these are not insulated boots, but they're essentially the same as these. Uh, it's just a boot versus a shoe. So these were awesome. I've found that I don't need insulated uh, boots if I'm gonna be hiking in the winter. I've got like down booties that I wear for like when I take these off at camp so I can keep my feet warm. So insulated boots are not a big deal to me because I'm not super deep winter camping like a lot of the extreme guys are. But um, these were awesome in the winter and they're extremely comfortable. I didn't have a blister. I've probably hiked, I don't know, at least four or five different trips with the Keen Ridge Flex with this specific uh, style of boot and shoe. No blisters, no problems whatsoever. I totally understand that everybody's feet are different and they're gonna fit differently. So I'm not saying that this is what you need to buy, but this is again, my experience in using these boots and shoes. <laughs> they're made with this sort of flexing um, material here, almost like an accordion, like a, like a little bendy straw almost. And by their testing, they say that they've bent this over a million times and never had any problems. So am I gonna take a million steps? Maybe, possibly, I don't know. But uh, in the time that I've worn these, uh, they were awesome. They were extremely comfortable. Uh, one thing that uh, I wanted to make sure that my other shoes do really well is that they have a wide toe box. So it doesn't look like this would have a wide toe box, but it actually is a very wide toe box on the inside so I can, uh, almost fully like spread out my toes on the inside so that's nice and I don't have to worry about like my toes rubbing in on each other to create blisters or anything like that. Now there is one thing that I don't like about these shoes and it's really more because I've worn such lightweight trail runners and my trail runners are extremely lightweight is that as soon as I put these on I definitely noticed a weight difference. These are not significantly heavier but they're heavier. Um, they've just got more of a shoe to them, there's more material here. So it was a little bit of like, oh man, these feel heavier as I started walking in them. But honestly, after like the first mile, I didn't even notice it anymore. And after that point on, it didn't bother me a bit, not at all. It almost felt like um, there was just more, there's more there to hug my feet. Over time, you know, I just felt good. So that's honestly 
about the only thing I didn't like about these. I mean, they fit well, they always stay tied, the laces were great. These are ones that I'm have to, I'm gonna have to like untie to get on my feet. I can't just like slip them on. You know, other than that, they're awesome. So, Keen, you guys did a great job. Uh, so my experience with waterproof shoes was actually pretty positive. It was very nice to not think about where I was stepping. So, um, my experience in hiking is, is it's not super often that I'm hiking through areas where uh, it's like above my shoe line. Now it does happen obviously and I've had plenty of experiences where that's happened. But in those situations either I'm looking for an alternative path to like hop across rocks or I'm balancing with trekking poles or I'm taking off my um, non-waterproof shoes and I'm using like um, some other water shoe or camp shoes, right? In place of, in order to not like slip or cut my feet on rocks so that I keep my shoes dry. And a lot of times I'll tie them around my neck and I'll hike across the river like that. And these are extremely waterproof. These are super waterproof. I don't know how to show how these are waterproof. Why, though. why we... don't we cut them open? You wanna, really? Yeah, just cut them open. <laughs> We're gonna cut them open. Okay, what do you think we learned? I don't really know, actually. <laughs> Shoes are hard to cut through. Shoes are very hard to cut through. <laughs> Inside here, you can see this is the toe, obviously. Uh, they got the keen dry, so I'm assuming that this here is the, the waterproof membrane, I think. There was no reason to cut this in half, like zero, other than because it was just cool. It was definitely cool. Uh, but you can see like, I guess, some of the cushioning. That's interesting. Well, that's what the inside of a shoe toe looks like. So if that is the waterproof membrane, like if that's accurate, so like you could get to water about to here around the whole shoe and it would still be totally dry as I've experienced. So it was not wet at all. I didn't get, we were in some good water and my foot didn't get wet at all. It's not waterproof now. So yeah, it's not waterproof now. <laughs> Why did we do this? That was awesome. I've been able to keep my feet dry um, not having to worry about stepping where I'm stepping. Now I do understand that if water gets inside of the shoe, it's gonna take longer to dry out. And what I would suggest you do is when you get to camp, if you're worried about your feet um, and your shoes drying out slowly, take out the insole and separate it from the shoe and then put them, you know, where they're gonna dry out, it'll dry out a lot faster, like in the vestibule. I've even heard guys putting their shoes like this inside the box, uh, the foot box of their sleeping bag. And uh, you know, that, makes a difference. I don't know, I've never done it. I like to keep the foot box of my sleeping bag clean, but you know, try it out. Let me know if it's worked for you. Uh, but that's my choice of what I'm gonna be trying to do uh, with footwear. So thanks Keen for sending these out. Appreciate it, you guys. Uh, these actually are great boots and shoes. I will certainly be wearing them beyond this video, 100%. Um, and I will put links in the description below so you can check these out yourself. So if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, subscribe for more. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one.